Welcome back to the NGK Seabold Sports Race Shop. Glad everybody uh, pays attention and follows us on Facebook. Uh, wanted to just come in at the start of 2016 and uh, thank everybody for all their hard work uh, on the team last year. We had a very successful year. We won the USF1 uh, National Championship Series. We also won the Mod U National Championship, uh, APBA. We won uh, US1 um, for the Champ Boat uh, Series uh, in APBA as well. So uh, we just really had a good year um, last year, and I can't thank the team enough. You know, it's one thing to go out there and, and drive the boat, but there's a lot of work that everybody puts into it beforehand. Uh, and during the season, uh, especially to keep it going. And uh, I want to thank Leo and Sog and my dad and Jake, uh, Matt, just uh, and Bill. Uh, everybody just did a fantastic job. So I couldn't be more proud of the team. Um, along those notes is this boat never gets on the water without all of these sponsors that we have on it, uh, NGK, back again 2016 as our primary sponsor, um, MarineEngine.com, CDI Electronics, uh, we also have uh, Showry, we've got Jimmy o over at Pro Designs, uh, we've got Weldon Pumps helping us out again, uh, Seaway Marine, and Seabold Sports, of course. So everybody is so enthusiastic about our program it really makes it fun uh, and it it keeps me energized uh, and enthusiastic about the season as well because all of these people our sponsors um, are are so into it so it's fantastic and I, w I really want to thank them a lot Well, for 2016, we have an all-new graphics package that Kevin over at Moto Marketing came up. And the reason we have it is NGK's 50th anniversary of doing business in the U.S. So for this great milestone, we wanted to incorporate the gold. And we went with a gold chrome uh, because we, we never really see the chrome on boats. So we wanted something a little bit different. Uh, used the flat black this year uh, instead of the gloss black and uh, can't wait to get it out on the water so everybody can take a look at it and uh, see what we're so proud of and work so hard this this uh, fall and spring getting everything ready to go because it's been a lot of work but as you can see it's paid off it looks beautiful so 2016 will be my last lap tour meaning uh, it's going to be the end of my driving career after 44 years. I started when I was eight years old in a J-Stock Hydro uh, that my grandpa had gotten, my brother Michael and I, and uh, it's been a one heck of a ride. I've enjoyed it uh, immensely along the way and been able to go places uh, and see things that I never would have been able to do if I wasn't uh, driving the Formula One boats. I have been very fortunate to accomplish many, many of the goals that I set and surpass uh, my wildest dreams of what I was going to be able to do as a driver. But I feel now with Hayden coming up and we're going to put him in a Formula 2 boat next year. Uh, so he'll, he'll have one more year in the 45 class in 2016 and then we're going to bring him up to the next level. And, uh, you know, I really want to give back to the sport and I want to help the sport uh, before I, I'm not involved with it anymore. So I'm still going to be totally involved. Uh, I'm going to work harder on the, on the boats. Uh, we're going to build a couple boats again uh, this, this coming winter and um, see what I can do to not only help the sport but help uh, the young guys that are coming up in the sport. So that's really my goal for the future. 2016, the NGK team is going to be traveling all over the U.S. 
uh, and into Canada, going back to Quebec, but we have got a full schedule for 2016. So we're going to be going down to Texas, uh, we're going to hit Highlands first, then after that we're going to go to Port Natchez, which is always a huge event for the, for the sport tour. Um, after that, we're going to go back up to Laporte, Indiana for the first USF1 race. After Laporte, we'll head down to Nashville for the inaugural uh, event there. And then the next weekend, we'll be traveling back up to Bay City uh, for our annual trip up north, uh, followed by Quebec in July. Uh, Pittsburgh moved their date this year, so they'll be the 6th and 7th of August, and then we're going to go to Rising Sun, Indiana, an event I have not been to before for the uh, SST 200 North American Championships, and then we'll go back to Detroit, run with the Unlimiteds again this year um, at the end of August, and then September we're going to go down to the APBA Nationals in Shreveport, and then close out the season once again going down to Orange, Texas with all the sport guys. So we've got plenty on our plate. It's going to be a busy summer and I'm looking forward to it.